Hey guys, today I am going to show you exactly how to make a transformation. This will be a basic tutorial, so you need to follow my instructions exactly if you want to do it right. So first of all, you're going to have to install all the programs needed for this to work. First, you want to install Not Notepad++, which you will need later on in the video to use custom animations from LazyBones Transformation. And then you you need Jensa and the B BCM tool for editing required key values if needed. So first off, what I want you guys to do is download Jensa. I will provide all the links in the description. And then what I want you to do, guys, to do is make a folder on your desktop and put it all all of it in there. Then what I want you to do is download this program called yet another BCM uh, organizer, which is a tool if you're not very good at coding. And you can just put that in the same folder on your desktop. Then what I need you guys to do is uh, prepare all the necessary folders needed to make the transformations for the costume later on. So what you need to do is create a folder on your desktop, you can call whatever you want, you can call it sample, I, I just called it that, and make a folder called data, and in this folder make another folder called data, Go in, then go into that folder, make another folder called Chara. Then go back, go into that folder and make a folder called Home. And another folder called Hof. So essentially, what this is, this is where we are going to put our our hair files, so that when you transform, it can change your hair. Okay. Next, what you want to do is go back into the main folder here, make another folder called Busts, and then make two more folders called Home, and another folder called Off. And basically, Home is male, Off is female, and the type of transformation I'm going to going to make in front of you guys is Super Saiyan 4 transformation and, and then another stage with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta where he's red for, for CSC and what I'm going to need you guys to do is download all the necessary files for that so download this Super Saiyan 4 pack okay which we which we're going to use for the bust and once you've got once you've got that downloaded, I'm gonna need you guys to go here into the into the boss folder, and then go in the into the folder that you um, extracted. So basically, put the put all this all the files down from this mod into a folder, and you will get you will get all of this so what we need to do is get a the bus for the normal Super Saiyan 4 transformation which you can find here and what you want to do is actually ignore that what you want to do is go to the non transformable static color and choose SSJ Goku Red and that will be the normal Super Saiyan 4 bust color and you go to female bust tailed and you put that you put all you take all the files you copy and you paste it in that folder and then you go to then you go to the male 
and you take all these files and put them in the home folder. This is, this is all just preparation guys, this is not actually making a transformation yet. I will provide timestamps in the description if you want to skip this, but I recommend you follow this. And then after you've put all these files in here, what I need you guys to do is individually name these, put these as 10,000. Change all these to 10,000. And you later on you'll see why I did this. Oops, my bad. So you want to make all all of these ten thousand. Okay. So basically, that that's done for the busts, and now we want to do the hair. So what you need to do is download, I'll provide all these links in the description. So this is for, this is for the male, the Super Saiyan 4 hair. Just open that with zip, 7 zip. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to the SSJ4 folder and there is the hair for Super Saiyan 4. I apologize for the dog barking in the background, she's very annoying. So what you want to do is you want to drag that into the home folder. Okay, so that will be the hair for the male. And then you want to go back up here and download the Super Saiyan 4 hair for the females. And you want to take that and put that in the hoof folder. Okay, so what I need you guys to do now is uh, rename this to, let's say, you can change the ID to whatever you want. But if you don't want any mistakes, just do what, do what I do. Make that 778. Make that all 778. And then you go to the home folder and you do exactly the sa same thing with this one. 700, 778. This is going to be a very long tutorial guys, because I want to teach you guys exactly how to do um, custom, custom bodies and busts and hairs, so that you guys can make decent transformations. Okay, so now we have, now we have the hair. Okay. Now, for in, or in, in order for the, for the tails to work on the busts, you will need to go back to the, the Super Saiyan 4 pack that you downloaded before, and you need to have this tail mod installed. You need to have this installed, okay? So what you can do is, if you don't, if you want it to be included into your transformation, what you can do is, you can actually put this put this right here and when you link all these files to your transformation it will automatically install the the, uh, the tail mod 
and I will show you guys exactly how to do that. Also, guys, I I do apologize. I did I realized I did made a, make a simple mistake. So basically, um, I did not rename the uh, hair correctly in the home folder. I have made it 770. 788 by accident and it's supposed to be seven, 778 so let me just fix that as well okay so now um, I did forget something else I really do apologize if I'm confusing you guys um, so basically this this is the bust for the first stage for male and female now i want to show you guys how to add a bust for the second stage so this is just another preparation so what you want to do is go back into the super saiyan super saiyan 4 pack that you downloaded before and go to transformable lssj and choose hair colored so here's the here's the male and female bust for for um super saint form basically this will color based upon your hair so what we want to do is we want to get the bust tailed version and put that put the hof files in the hof folder and you take the take the male one bust tailed and you put that into the home folder then what I need you guys to do is rename this to 10,000 and 1 for every single one of them And you do exactly the same with the uh, female one. I do apologize again guys, this is going to be a very very long tutorial. But I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing here. So no one makes any mistakes. Okay, so that is the preparation complete. So now we can actually go ahead and make the transformation. And basically what I've done here for you guys is I've made made two, two samples here that you can use as, as a shortcut if you don't want to do every single thing from scratch, okay? Okay, so next thing you guys need to do is go in back into your sample folder and create another folder called skill files. And that is where the animations and stages will be. So next you need to open the skill create tool. So XV2 skill create and you you can you open the uh, sample x2m file i'm gonna provide these two files for you guys if you're new to making transformations and what you can do is what you do is here you this is the uh, name or you name your transformation the author name the version number and you guys need to make sure you click on generate new 
then you put the skill name the skill description and you make sh guys that you make sure that both entries are are the same so if you are going to make um, more stages you need to make sure you add another entry but I'm only doing two so two stages so I'm not going to do that so next what you guys need to do is navigate to the files files tab and click on change change skill files and then what you guys need to go do is go into your into your folder the skill files folder and click click select folder then what you need to do is you need to go on click on tools import skill directory scroll all the way down okay until you get here so basically essentially basically what this is is that's gs1 a stage one stage two stages three stages and four stages I'm only making a two stage transformation so I'm going to choose that one and basically it's going to bring open this window make sure it's in that folder and click select folder and that's basically going to import import two files here okay so remember that um, tool we downloaded before called BCM organizer what I need you guys to do is open that so I'm going to show you guys how to change the required key for your step for your transformation so so click click on load go to the sample folder skill files and click on BCM the beast.bcm file and what you want to do is collapse is entry 0 and bas basic basically click on entry 1 and go to go to this tab here and here is where the required key will be so this is this is actually the second stage this is the first this is the first stage of the transformation as you can see the key key value is lower so i'm going to change that to 400 and make this 500 and you guys will need it need to do it for the fir for the third entry as well because this is the second stage stage as well so that these two are the second stage and this is the uh, first stage of the transformation so that so we will need 400 key to transform to the first one and then 500 to transform to the second one then what you do is you click save click on that file and click save and that's that's all you guys need to know for now can close that next what we need to do is go to the co costume tab here and what you want to do is you want to click copy click copy there from game and scroll all the way down remember remember when we chose this one you need to choose that one again okay so basically what's that what that's done is it's going to set the animation animation for goku when he transforms to super saiyan one and two and then what you need to do is you need to make sure this works for male and female so you need to you need to tick these two boxes so that it works then what you need to, then what you need to do is enable you can enable this and put how much a little put how much it will cost in the uh, skill shop if you want to and how much you get when you sell it 
I don't I don't usually bother with this because I don't need it and over here you can set the individual stats so entry zero is the first transformation and these are all the stats so you can set these to higher values if you want to make him ev him either faster faster or stronger so so that's the blast power normal attack damage key key blast damage strikes super damage you can all ch you can change out what to ever you want and then when you go into to the second stage you can set the values even higher higher than the first stage which isn't very complicating i'm sure you guys will e easily understand this then what you want to do is we want to come to the transformation transformation tab and this is where we are going to set the auras the auras needed when you transform so bas so basically what i what you guys need to do is you need to install um Azur azurus aura pack for this to work which is pretty pretty straightforward so I'll show you guys how to do that now and I'll also provide that in a link I'll also provide the link in the description for that so you guys all you guys need to do is run this insta installer from Azure's aura pack and install it and then what you do is you go go back here you go click on scre screens and basically basically this is going to show you what the auras look like so because we're doing a super super saiyan 4 transformation i want something that has a red aura so i'm going to go with lightning kaioken aura which looks like this okay so when i go super saiyan 4 it's going to it's going to have that aura and what you want to guys want to do is it tells you exactly where you need to put it and each each and every single one of them so just follow what i do And down here okay I've done the aura for the first stage and down here is where you set the hair color and the eye color because it's Super Saiyan 4 we need to get his hair to be black so change that to the color black okay so you just click on get from and you choose the color you want so that is the the first stage aura and hair done. Now we want to go on to the second the second entry, which will be the the Gogeta one. And basically what we want to do is we want to use an ultra in the ultra instinct aura and we want to choose a a red one. So we can have that one. And then what you do is you, you open this and you find the red one which is the second one so you make sure you're on entry one which is the second stage and you just do what you did before Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to change the hair color to look to look like Gogeta. So let's just look at this. We're saying for Gogeta.
okay so we want that heck so we want it to be slightly darker reddish okay so let's go for this one okay so that is done now now comes the slightly more complicating part for you guys okay so everything else is done here now we just need to, to do the costume and i will prov provide the sample costume as well for you guys so what you guys can do you can either go to your mod installer and open um, costume create or you can just right click and edit so what you guys need to do is you need to open the sample costume and I'm going to rename this to I'm going to rename that to Super Saiyan 4 to red okay and here you just put your off your offer name and the version number and click generate new now what you guys need to do is click click on files okay so this is where this is where the post files need to be so you click on change so that's the home so you click change go to your sample folder click click on busts and home then select folder then for hof go to sample folder busts hof select folder also guys um all i also did forget something in the uh, skill creator what you need to do is you need to set the additional data as well so that the the hair the hair and the tail mod get installed automatically so what you need to do is you need to click on go on the sample folder click and click on data and then select folder okay then what you need to do is you need to go back to back to the costume creator and click on home and basically that we, we have two different parts and each part represents pre represents a stage so that's stage one and that's stage two so we need to do do is go to stage one and we need we need to set the hair ids we made in these folders so I'll show you guys how to do that now. So go to data, data, Jara, home. Okay. So the hair ID is seven seven eight. So you need to change this, this, to seven seven eight. Seven seven eight. And the post ID has already been set, so I'll show you guys. The first stage is the first stage post has already been set, so you guys won't need to change anything if you're using this sample. Then what you need to do is you need to go onto the the second second entry, which is the second stage of the transformation, and we are going to use the same the same hair ID which is seven seven eight seven seven eight and then you need to change the post ID to ten thousand and one because that's that's the second one all right so that that is done for the first first and second stage for just the male now you need to go to hof 
click on the, en the first entry and then we need to set the hey ID for that one as well. So, so we need to make sure it's 778. Okay, 778, that's the hey ID. Okay. 778. 778. And the post is already set for that one. The the ID is ten thousand. Okay. So now you go on to the the second tab, the second the second stage, and you change that here ID as well to seven seven eight seven seven eight. And we change the post ID here. To ten thousand and one. Okay. Let me just make sure that the IDs are correct. Ten thousand and one. Okay. Ten thousand and one. Okay. So that is pretty much it. That's all we need to do. So now what you guys need to do is you need to save this costume file save it as sample costume save then then what you need to do is we need to make sure that the costume is linked into this transformation right here so what you need to do is you need to go to bcs and click on set then you go to desktop and you choose the sample costume and click open do not click do not click on link you need to embed it okay so now that's so now the costume is actually embedded within t in the transformation okay so the la we're going to do a few last checks to make sure that we've done everything correctly so the skill files is there data is there Okay, this has all been set. You can change this to um, you can change you need to change this to S G one or you can change it to S S one. Okay, so we've pretty much done everything we need to now. And now we just need to save it. So here we go. Okay, so as you guys can see, this file was 13 kilobytes and now it's 15 megabytes because all the files are in there. So now what we need to do is we need to actually install the transformation so go to your um go to your xv2 ins exe file and install your transformation to see if it worked in theory this should have worked without any issues so we'll see what happens and as you can see there's the costume there's the name there's the author version number and awoken so yes install the following mode okay so now we are going to start the game and test it so fingers crossed nothing went wrong here we go guys let's see if it worked okay just ignore that i'll have to just start the game again
Okay, sorry about that guys. Alright, so after you've installed your transformation, it should be in the uh, skill shop. We have nice new items in stock. Oh, it's not that, which means it should already be in my inventory then. There we go, it's that. So Super Saiyan 4 to SSJ4 Red. And let's go and test it, guys. Greetings. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's see if it loads in. Yes, okay, that's a good sign. If it actually loads in the game, it means all the assets the head, the busts and everything's loaded properly. So that's a good sign. So here we go. I'm going to have to lower my key in order for this to work. So let's ha! let's just do that. Ka me ha me ha <laughs> Okay, so it should transform to normal Super Saiyan. Ha! There we go. You see? Here we go, guys. This is what we wanted. Here comes the moment of truth, the second transformation. So I will need to have five key... You will need five key bars to go to the second stage. So here we go. And it actually works. Hmm. It actually works, guys. The first test as well. So now, what I'm going to do is, I am going to go to the female. Actually, wait. I'm going to go to the female. I am actually surprised it works guys. Usually usually I'm not this lucky for it to work the first time. What a lucky day. go yes now let's see if it works with her moving out in, in theory it should work fine with her so let's see if it loads in yes it lo loads in and that's a good sign So here we go. Okay, so the the uh, the Gogeta transformation actually works. Don't 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 mind that, guys. That's just because the uh, I changed the move set. So that seems to be working fine. So now let's power down again. 
Yeah, guys, if you're wondering why um, she's freezing up like that, that should be just, just because the moveset is bugged. Okay. So, what we need to do is we need to power down. Here we go! Here we go. Ah! Ah! Oh shit, you're kidding me, forgot to do this, sorry, sorry guys, it's just been a while since I've done this. I'm trying to make this tutorial short as I can, but Here unfortunately, it's yeah. not going to be short. Okay. Okay, and so let's transform to Super Saiyan 4. Okay, so that works with no problems. Okay, so I'm going to close the game now. And that is it. So I'm going to explain to you guys exactly why the moveset is bugged, bugged at the moment. The reason for that is is because when you when you install this tail mod, it comes with it comes with a move move set, that's why it's bugged. And I've got an Ultra Instinct move set installed. And basically, when I made my pr my other transformations, I had to remove the move sets from the actual from the actual mod for it to work. And it's essentially here. But but that's how you make a transformation, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I will be making a another tutorial video because obviously this one's a bit too long on how to change it to custom animations from Lazy Bones. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Here's the instruction out.